Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to see if I can take the female base mesh model here in ZBrush and just using the ink brushes, if I could take the character and pose uh, her in the uh, meditation pose that you're seeing uh, here. So this was uh, actually inspired by a sculpture that I saw by uh, Paige Bradley. And you can see the sculpture uh, right here and you can see the beautiful uh, poses that um, she's doing. But when I saw this, I uh, thought it would be a fun challenge to see if we can recreate a similar pose in ZBrush using Inca brushes. All right, so how do we do this? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna go to Lightbox and I am going to select this uh, female.zpr by just double clicking on it. I'm gonna say no. And this is um, the character that is given to us, right? Uh, the first thing I want to do right away is I want to dial down the uh, complexity or the topology, right? You can currently see there is 1 million uh, points and uh, that's a lot of points for us to uh, play around with as far as the base mesh is concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial this down to level 1 and you can see that's going to take me to 15,000 uh, points, 15.7 and I'm just going to simply delete the higher. Okay. The uh, other thing that I would like to do to maintain more control over each uh, kind of body part, um, I would love to split this character into two poly groups. So we have the left and the right. So how do we do that? Well, to do this, what I can do is I can jump into Z modeler, right? And if I hover over, uh, let's say I'm going to turn off my um, active symmetry by pressing X and I'm just going to go uh, find the middle. Uh, line here, which is right here. I'm going to go right to the right of this line, press space bar, and I'm going to go to poly groups, and I'm going to say uh, poly loop, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this uh, line. You can see there's all these different uh, lines that show up, right? And I'm just going to click on the top one. And what that is going to do is it's going to mark the center of the character with a poly loop going all the way around, right? That's exactly what I want. So uh, now I can hover over the next one. And instead of poly loop, let's switch this to poly island and just simply click. All right, so now we successfully split the character into two. Uh, it's still a solid mesh, but now it has two poly groups, right? We have the left and the right. Very cool. Now let's uh, start talking about the um, Inca brushes. So to get uh, the character in this pose, uh, right here, right? What I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, bend the arms and then we can uh, work on the neck and then the legs are going to be a little more uh, complex. All right. So to do the arms, I'm going to jump out of the perspective mode. Then I'm going to go to my anchor brush. So I'm going to grab this first one. Um, I see that there's one called classic. I think I'm just going to use this uh, one that's just says anchors and that's going to give me a move, rotate, uh, move, rotate, scale, inflate, and twist, right? And let's see how uh, this works. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my active symmetry. And what I'd like to do first is kind of get the arms uh, into the proper position. So I'm going to set the first anchor uh, right here where the shoulder is. And I'm going to click uh, right next to it. And I'm going to start kind of twisting this down. And right now you can see it's moving, but that's not what I want. I want to rotate, right? So again, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go right next to it and just start rotating my arms down. And the cool thing about anchor brushes is that uh, the, uh, the distance between these two points is gonna be the gradient of uh, zero to 100. And then anything that's past this is gonna be uh, solid 100%. Uh, Right, so if I start moving this around, you can see that all of this is being completely 100% solid. And then this right here is the part that is bending, right? So you can see how that's working. So uh, if I don't want these big shoulders, I can hold on the Alt key, by the way, you can delete these points. But if I don't want this big shoulder, for example, I could um, start moving it, you know, a little bit closer and just very slowly just start kind of moving it into position. So I want my arms to be somewhat in this 45 degree angle. Uh, to adjust the shoulders, I can just grab the move and just kind of manually um, rework this, that's fine. 
Next, I'm gonna go back to my anchor brush and I'm gonna grab the uh, twist this time. And what I need to do is I need to twist these palms or her hands um, up, right, towards the sky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly, let's go ahead and delete these by holding the old key. Let's just start slowly kind of twisting this arm um, to point the other way, right? So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just very carefully starting to rotate this. And I want this arm right here to just kind of point up. Yeah, let's do it a little more. So something like that is what I was looking for. Now I need a bend, right? Just like the pose, uh, a reference pose. I'm gonna grab my, um, let's, let's do rotate. And let's just start kind of bringing this up. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and twist and start twisting it maybe a little bit more this way. And now any kind of uh, little imperfections that I'm seeing with the folds, I'm just gonna have to manually kind of touch them up uh, with my move brush. And again, this is just a base mesh, so I'm not really focusing on perfect uh, flow or, or doing details. I'm just simply uh, kind of getting the base mesh uh, to look as good as I can, okay? So I want this kind of a sharp uh, elbow right here. Uh, that's important, right? And uh, I think everything else kind of works. Um, and what I could do next is let's go ahead and see if we can get this um, thumb to touch the finger, right, as the as the reference image. So again, I'm gonna jump back into the anchor brush and just do something like this and just start kind of bending this in and maybe get it a little bit towards the uh, towards the thumb. Very cool. Let's let me go ahead and move it a little bit this way. And I can also adjust the thumb as well. All right, and then again, to do any kind of uh, touch-ups, I can always use the move brush to, um, to get it a little bit better, right? So do something like that. And I don't wanna spend too much uh, time sculpting. I'm just, um, in this exercise, I just wanna show how to use the anchor brushes to control your uh, meshes, right? All right, let's say we're happy with this. Next, let's go ahead and work on the neck because uh, the reference is looking up. So to do that, again, anchor brush, rotate. Let's just do something like this. And if I wanted to, I can do a little more, but you can see that that's actually not working. Let's go ahead and maybe do something like this. All right, so she's kind of looking up and She's got her um, hands up, very cool. Now, how do we get these legs uh, in the meditation uh, position, right? This is the reason I split the character into two because now it's going to allow me to control uh, the legs a little bit better because they're gonna start crossing over, right? So to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the side and I'm gonna do something like this, bring them up, okay? And maybe that's a little bit too high, so we'll do something like that. And what I need to do next is I need to cross them over, but I need the thighs, the uh, inner thighs, to kind of point up, right? All right, so I can twist the uh, thighs going from the top. Let's just twist them uh, kind of pointing up, right? Because her leg is going to be kind of uh, going in. So I'm going to do something like that. Very cool. And... I also need to uh, point them out more. Very cool. All right, to bend the leg, I'm just gonna go on the side here and just create a bend, just like that. All right, um, now what I would like to do is I need to adjust the legs, right? I need this foot to be on this leg. I'm gonna press Control Shift and uh, let me actually hide this side. And what I need to do is I need to bring this leg up, right? So uh, to get that going, let's just simply do Control, 
turn off my symmetry. I'm going to select the part of the leg that I want to bend. If I press con uh, control and click, you can see that it's going to soften that selection. Then I can do control and click to flip it, right? I can go to, uh, let's go to rotate and let's press alt and click. And what I need to do next is I need to kind of realign this leg. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this connection uh, here yet. I just, I'm just concerned about the leg pointing a certain way, right? So I want to make sure that it's something along these lines. All right, I'm going to grab my move brush, do control and drag, and let's just simply smooth this out. Very cool. Control shift click to bring everything back and let's take a look. So you can see how this leg kind of makes sense, but now this one uh, needs to be adjusted next. So let's do the same thing. Control shift and click to hide this side. Do control and drag to make a selection. Then I'm going to do control click to smooth this out. Press control and click to flip my mask. And I'm going to go back to rotation, click alt and click. And now what I could do is I can start rotating this leg to uh, make a little more sense as far as being in the uh, proper position, right? Let's go ahead and use the move brush. Maybe pull this back a little more. You can also smooth this. I'm going to do control shift and click to bring everything back and uh, something like that should work if we wanted to touch up the base right to make sure that it kind of uh, feels a little more like she's sitting I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to pull this down and kind of adjust it from there but using the anchors brush anchor brushes you can see how I can very quickly uh, create any pose I want doesn't really matter how complex it is and uh, start sculpting from this point on, right? For example, if I wanted to make the uh, knees a little sharper, I could do that. Just start, do something like that. I can also grab my pinch and maybe I wanna pinch this a little bit. And then uh, obviously, um, you know, you need to go through and using the smooth brush smooth out um, parts of the model that are intersecting but hopefully this was helpful so thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video